Hi everyone, it's Garrett here at Eurovision Ireland. Uh, we're continuing our Meet the Eurosong finalists for 2014. Uh, we're here again in the fantastic surroundings of House here on Leeson Street. Please make sure to check them out at housedublin.ie. Now, I'm here with our final guest in the series. Uh, a lot of people will know him from the UK and from Ireland. Uh, for our international viewers, you're going to get to know him. Um, I've very pleased to uh, present to you, Mr. Owen Craig. Owen, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I, I, should, I should say, what about you? I know. <laughs> I'm grand, yeah, I'm good. Well, firstly, thanks very much for coming down thanks all the way right from me. Derry to, 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 to chat to us. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, a lot of people will remember you from being on The X Factor several years ago. Yeah. And you had a fantastic run on The X Factor. You made it all the way to the final. Um, was it somewhat, did you think to yourself, do I really want to come back to another competition? Or was it a really easy choice for you? See, this is it. I mean, when I got approached about it, um, I did have all over Christmas to think about it. And um, I. I know the Eurovision is a, it's a competition, but I just see it as a great platform, you know, to, you know, perform in front of millions of viewers and, you know, to get yourself out there as an artist and, you know, your song and stuff. Um, it is a competition, but, you know, I see it as a massive opportunity, you know, for me. So um, the decision was pretty easy in the end up, like. I think the other thing that people need to realise is obviously you're from Derry yeah. and guess who represented us last year? Also Ryan Dolan, who's from up north as well, yeah. from, up from the Derry. Is there something in the waters up there that seems to produce all these great singers that go to your vision? Yeah, I've always said like Derry is like it's got uh, immense talent. I mean, you know, Dana as well, you know. Um, there's loads of talent from Derry and you know, last year with um, Ryan in the, in the Eurovision, um, and you know, hopefully this year, you know, someone from the north can go again. Um, personally, hopefully me. Like, um, but um, I just think that you know, there's so much talent up there. Where there's so much talent here too. Like, um, just getting the opportunity, I think, you know, to do it is is, is good enough for me. Like. I know that when you left The X Factor, you had a number one album here in Ireland. Congratulations yep. thank on you, that. Thank you. Um, what? I suppose since the X Factor and now, what would be your musical influences, and have they sort of changed mm. since since back then? Um, well, I'm a lot older now, uh, more mature. I know a lot more about the industry, and I've more experience. Um, my f my it hasn't changed. I mean, I still want to be successful in music. That's obviously what I've wanted to do since I was a young kid. Um, nothing's really changed and I just see this as a good opportunity to you know bring my profile to a wider audience so um, that's the main reason why we're doing it to you as well as we only want it like who would be on your iPod at the moment on my iPod uh, Bruno Mars uh, the script um, there's so many everybody always asks me you know what's your favorite who's your favorite singer and what's your favorite genre i don't really have a favorite genre it's you know if i hear something i like it you know i'm my ears open to you know any type of music but um the script would be my favorite band uh bruno mars i think's the best male soul artist out there at the moment um so it would be a toss-up between the, those two two of them now We've been chatting to obviously to your mentor Mark Murphy, yeah. and he is so one hundred and ten percent behind you. He yeah. he really has complete and absolute faith in you. How did you actually manage to you know get to become involved with Mark? Well, me and Mark, we've known each other for a long time now, six years. Um, Mark was actually my tour manager uh, once I came off the X Factor, and um, we spent two glorious years together. Um, Turn up and down the country, you know, we toured with Boys Home, we toured on the X Factor tour, we recorded an album in London, um, we did everything together and it was such a part of, big part of my life at the time and, you know, we've always stayed in really close contact and been friends and uh, when I got the phone call from Mark, um, we you know, had a chat and he says he's been approached about to be a mentor and that he'd love to have me on board and um, I trust Mark 100%, he's great at his job, he's the best at what he does and, um, you know, just getting the chance to work with him again, I think we make a good team. Um, and the decision was, was, was easy enough for me, like, personally. Well, that's good. And then about the song itself, we know that the, the song is written by Carl Broderick, yeah. who is no stranger to Eurovision or yeah. to, to Euro song. Can you tell us the name of the song um, that you're performing this yeah. year? On? It's called The Movie Song. And what is the, I suppose, what's the, what, what's the song about? Well, 
Carl what basically what he's his perception is on it. It's um all them things you did in life and uh, your lost promises and stuff. You know, you're probably better asking him about the songs about um you know, I just think it's a great song. Um I really enjoyed recording it and um I think it's it's not your particular Eurovision song. It's a lot different. I think it's like a it's a it's a chart song at the minute, it's a radio song and um it's a great song and I really, really enjoyed recording it. Once I heard it, you know, I knew that I wanted to be a part of it. So, um, yeah, that's it's 100% like. Did the song sort of change from the first time you heard it as a demo and then when you started laying down the vocals, did, did you sort of put your own little spin on the song itself? Yeah, I made it my own. Um, I heard the demo and uh, then I made my own demo, which was, which was similar enough to the first one. But uh, when we got into the studio to properly record it, we were trying everything, different things, you know, doing this differently, singing it in a different way, a uh, different melody. And um, I think I put my own twist on it. So um, I'm happy enough with that because I wanted to make the song my own. As, um, so that was basically the reason why. I know that in the song it says, you know, do people use the word groovy? Now, maybe it's my age. I love the word groovy. <laughs> it's, I mean, did, did you find that when you were singing the song that... Um, did it sort of make you reminisce over times yourself, you know, or as you said, over those lost chances? Yeah, I mean, um, groovy, you don't really hear it anymore, unless you're watching Austin Powers movie or something, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it, it's, it's a funny little lyric, and I really liked it, actually, because you don't really hear that word about it anymore, so it was, it was genius thinking from Carl. No, it was really good. So on the night itself, from the Eurosong final, have you actually started to think about how you're going to present the song? Is it just going to be you on stage, or is it going to be a band? Or yeah, well, it's going to be me on stage with you know two backline vocalists, um, a fella John and a fella Darren from uh, from England. Um, they recorded the backline vocals. They're going to be there on the night with me, and um, well, we've discussed a few things, um, me and Mark, and uh, we haven't decided 100% what we're going to do yet, so we're sort of keeping our cards close to our chest. Um, we want to make sure that whatever, whatever we do is going to be the best thing for the performance on the night, but uh, what you can expect in the performance is fun, upbeat, uh, and a, a good bit of banter and good fun. And have you been surprised at the reaction that there has been since you were announced as a member of the Eurosong final? Because you're not putting any pressure on you, but you're number one with the bookies in yeah. order to, to win. Yeah, I mean the feedback has been great. Um, the, you know the comments from you know on Twitter and stuff, and we set up a, f a Facebook page, and automatically it was a hit, and it had so so many likes in a matter of hours. Um, the whole bookies thing, um, I'm not looking too much into that to be honest. Um, it's flattering, of course, um, but I've listened to every one of the songs, and not one song sounds similar. It's, they're all five are very different, so you know I just think it's. You know, people who's going to vote and who's going to be watching the show—it's it's up to them, basically. Sure. And you, you just mentioned there. Obviously, you've got quite a lot of followers. You know, fans who who have followed you since the X Factor yeah. and stuck with you, which is great. What was their initial reaction when they heard that you were potentially going to Eurovision? Um, it was more or less like, "Wow, Owen Quig! I thought he'd vanished off the face of the earth, basically." Um, but no, the reaction was good. Um, people have have been tweeting me saying, you know, they've loved me from day one and, you know, they're they're glad that I'm obviously doing something new. Um so the the reaction was was great and, and you know, after all these years, you know, the support was still there for me. So I'm it's, it's amazing, like it's so nice and I'm I'm so grateful for that. Like so hopefully I can just take it on and uh keep going and progressing and getting it bigger and building the fan base and, you know, you never know what could happen like. Aye. And even following your song and fingers crossed, maybe your vision as well. Have you thought about how you might take this forward? Um, Any plans to release potentially more songs? I, I think I, people are calling out for yeah, that. I don't know. I mean, it's too early to decide now. Um, that would, obviously, initially, that would be amazing. That would be a, a complete added bonus if that was to happen. But right now, we just want to concentrate on the 28th and uh, bringing this song to the Eurovision if we get the chance. And, um, you know, if Europe likes it, um, you know, who knows what could come out of it. And actually, that would be the icing on the cake. But for now, I think uh, the best thing to do is 100% give my full commitment to uh, the 28th, the Eurosong, and then hopefully the Eurovision, and then we'll talk about that in the near future, if that comes around. That's a good answer. <laughs> um, 
In regards to the song itself, is it going to be released for people to actually download and buy? Yes, it's going to be um, released on iTunes on the 21st of uh, February, which is a week before the show goes out. You can actually pre-order it now, which is um, it's, it's a good thing to do. Um, so that's exciting as well. Like, you know, you're going to have a single that people can actually have on their iPod and listen to in the cars and stuff, which is cool. So, yeah, that comes out in the, the 21st, a week before. And can we expect a video for the song as well? Yeah, we're, we're um, actually, we're, it's going to be a lyric video. There's, it's not gonna, I'm not going to be in it, but uh, at the moment they're in the process of making a lyric video for this song, um, and that should be out in the next week or so. But it's, I'll be tweeting all about that, so you can f follow me and get all the information on Twitter. It's on Quig. It's add on Quig ninety two, and there's a Facebook page for the movie song also. So we're trying to you know get it out there, promote it as much as we can. Can I just say, Owen, you're the best interview yes. person because get in there. <laughs> that was my next question. Oh. If people want to actually find out more about you, we we can find you on Twitter, which you've just yeah. mentioned. Yes. Then the Facebook like page for yeah. the movie song. It's just call it the movie. Call the movie basically. song. There you go, people. There's the, the two main things which which you actually have to get. And what's your Twitter address again? It's uh, at ownquig ninety two. Perfect, I'll quick 92. Now, you say 92 because that was the year you were born. Yep. I'll slap you. I was probably <laughs> just going into college at that stage. <laughs> um, <laughs> have you listened to any of the other songs that are in the Eurosong final this year? Um, I actually listened to the first plays on the radio last week. Um, um, I was driving, so I had a wee sneaky listen to all five of them. And I was impressed, actually. That's what I was saying earlier was... There's not one song that sounds particularly the same. They're all they're five different songs, and you know everybody's got a chance. It's just whatever you know the, the general public fancy oh. going to the Eurovision. And what does the family think of you potentially going to Eurovision? And they're they're obviously they're excited. Um, they've always like been so supportive as they were, uh, back in the X Factor days. Um, you know they are always behind me a hundred percent. And uh, you know they're they're just really excited. They love the song, which is good. And um, my wee sister, she's only five, and she was born around the time of the show. She actually sings the full song off by heart, like she knows every lyric. She's my biggest fan, like so. Um, you know the buzz around the house and the town and all is, is it's really it's really good at the moment. So hopefully you know I can do them proud as well because you know they've always been there to support me. And you know without them I don't think you know I would be where I am today to be honest. Like well, that's really good. Um. I suppose just to, 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 to finish this up, because I know you've got quite a lot more press to, to, to do, um, are you going to be doing any performances of the song in the run-up to the, the Eurosong final itself, or have you got anything planned? Um, I think that we are going to be doing um, live acoustic versions on radio. Brilliant. So um, I played a song, um, I learned the guitar, I learned the guitar with uh, for the song and uh, we're just going to be playing it live on the radio, so acoustically, um, you know, mixing it up, doing anything we really can do to make it more fun and more interesting for people as well. So you sing and you play the guitar as well. Yes, I do. Another reason to hate him, you know what I mean, <laughs> oh this talent and he's born in 92 which is sort of rubbing in my nose. But look Owen, if you had one message to say to the, 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 the readers of Eurovision Ireland and all your fans out there across Europe, because they're are because we've once you were n named as being in the Eurosong final, the amount of people that we got from I, I mean, as far flung as Russia, Turkey, and wow. um, Albania <laughs> who knew about you, which yeah. was like it, it, it astounded us, yeah. you know. And I don't mean that in a bad no, way, it you astounds know I mean? me as well, you know, because you'd be known in Ireland and the UK. What would you have to say to them? I would just say thanks for all the support and. You know, anyone that, you know, likes the song and listens to it and buys it or votes for it on the night, you know, I'm just, I can't wait to the 20th to give an amazing performance and hopefully everybody likes it. You know, I get the chance to go and represent my country on an international stage. Um, just thanks and for the support and I'll just keep trying doing the best I can do. Well, I believe your song, song number two on the night yeah. uh, and it's going to be on the Late Late Show on RTE1, uh, the Eurosong final at 9.35 people from Northern Ireland and Southern Ireland can vote yeah. uh, in the actual final itself. So obviously if the movie song is your song, then please make sure to vote for Owen Quigg. <laughs> Owen, thank you so, thank so you much. We really, we really appreciate it. Just to let everybody know, we were due to get Owen last Tuesday, but because the storms were so bad, yeah. he was stranded <laughs> yeah, <I couldn't laughs> up drive. north. He couldn't come down. Yeah, so we didn't want to have that in our consciousness. He <laughs> had had an accident due to us. So, Owen, we really appreciate you coming thank down you to us. And the very best of luck on the thank 28th. You. Thank you very much. Cheers.